Hello, Alistair. Hi, Eslin, brother. It's week number eight, the end of the course. Yay! How many pounds have you lost this week? I've lost three pounds. And what's your total weight loss? Twenty-nine pounds. Congratulations, Alistair. What's been your highlight of the course? Of the course, uh, my, my highlight of the course has been the seeing, being actually being part of the whole Slim Brother experience. So it has been losing twenty-nine pounds has been great. Seeing the changes in my body has been fantastic. Running again, enjoying sport, enjoying life, feeling well. Uh, but the absolute highlight has been seeing some of the folk on Slim Brother come on the Alpha course and just seeing their lives being transformed. So that has been really, really good. So, yep, it's been great. What's been your biggest challenge of the course? Uh, this last week has been my hardest week so far. Um, uh, on the Monday, I had my way in and feeling great four pounds I'd taken off. But I had a conference Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And I got a really bad cold when I was in Belfast and the weather was really bad. So I had two days where I couldn't train. Um, and so consequently trying to get back, is, uh, I mean, I'm back training, I'm doing okay. But um, by the end of the week, it was just a bit of a stressful week last week. I just had an awful lot on and I, I could see work piling up. And yeah, I walked into work and I had 381 emails waiting for me. <laughs> Including a few of those from Slim Brother. Yeah, I think actually about 300 of them were Slim Brother ones. Slim Brother videos were most of them, yeah. <laughs> What's been your best health benefit of the course? Um, it's been so many. I'm going to go back just after Christmas to the doctor. When I first started, I started with my cholesterol was up. I've been sent for a glucose tolerance test which I didn't take because I came back from the initial blood test and I spoke to my practice nurse and said to her, look, my weight's going in the right direction. I've lost 10 pounds. Do you mind if we wait until February and I go and take my glucose tolerance test at that point? And she said, yes, go ahead and do it. Um, and we'll also retest your cholesterol back at that time. And actually, I've got to say, my practice has been really, really good. They said, as of next week, I will go in for a weigh-in every fortnight and the practice nurse is going to follow me up because... Obviously, she's thrilled that I've lost all the weight that I've lost. So, um, generally, you know, I didn't really have a choice around this. You know, I, I was in the, I was in the extremely obese category with my BMI. So, um, my BMI's dropped. I'm feeling healthier. I'm pretty sure my blood pressure's down. So, I just got to find out where my cholesterol and my, um, uh, and also what my glucose tolerance is like. So, hopefully, I, I've avoided diabetes by being on this. So, you know, those are, these aren't, they're not minor health benefits, they're major health benefits. Why would you recommend Slim Brother to a friend, Alistair? Um, because it's holistic is the main issue. Um, a lot of things out there, I don't want to kind of not Weight Watchers or Slim, whatever it is. I would recommend this primarily because it's holistic. It's about body, soul and spirit. And it's about looking at long-term answers to why I have a weight problem, what are the issues around it, what I need to do to change to actually get really control of my life back. Because a weight problem is actually, uh, I don't mean this to be offensive, but actually in some way you are, you are, no, you are not in control of your body. Uh, you're not in control of your habits, you're not in control of your desires, and I need to get back in control. Uh, of my life and actually I wanted my life to be I'm a Christian so I wanted my life to be controlled by the Holy Spirit and not by not by my flesh actually is really what I'm talking about so yeah finally Alistair what's your goal from here uh, my goal is to lose uh, a further three stone my goals for next year I've got some sporting goals that I've set for next year so um, I used to be a marathon runner so I'd definitely like to run another marathon next year uh, I'm not doing the London Marathon. I don't like the London Marathon. I didn't enjoy it when I did it before, but I would like to do another marathon. Um, and I'd also like to have a crack at Ironman Triathlon in 2011, uh, which I started training for with swimming, cycling and running. Uh, whether I'll achieve that in 2011, I don't know, but certainly 2012, uh, I'm looking at that as a major goal for the following year. So that's the, those are my goals. Thank you for attending the course. Slim Brothers really enjoyed having you here, Alice. It's been fun. Not only cheering me up, but also cheering the rest of the slimmers. Thank you, and goodbye. Good evening, everybody. This is a good news announcement from the Slim Brother camp. You probably remember that last week 
I issued a jihadi warning on the life of Snowman here, that if I did not lose two pounds, then Snowman was going to get it. Bev Vickers and the other Slim Brother crew, you'll be thrilled to know that because I've lost three pounds this week, um, Snowman's life has been saved. Thank you. Snowman, you may go in peace. <laughs>